I'm starting to think about things I want to do before it gets hot, because when it gets hot, the snakes are going to be out. And uh, like, and I'll give you a good for example. There's a there's a place up under the front porch where I stretched a, I stretched a, uh, a tarp, a black plastic tarp out uh, last year. And the problem with that is it's laying on the ground. I did it to uh, basically keep the weeds and stuff from growing up in there. And I did it at the end of the year, and I noticed all winter that water's been sitting up on that tarp. Of course, if you've got water sitting on tarp in the springtime, that's, that's how you get mosquitoes. Mosquitoes breed in standing water. So I was thinking I ought to pull that out of there. And I, I still want to use the tarp to keep uh, grass from growing. I wish I'd brought my glasses, but I think I can do this without them. But I was thinking I, what I could do instead is hang the tarp up in, in the back of the, where I have that little lattice part up on around the front porch. I could hang that black part up. That way I wouldn't have any of the plastic sitting on the ground for water to stand on. That would eliminate the mosquito problem. And uh, light wouldn't get under there so I wouldn't have weeds and stuff growing. What happens is weeds grow up under the porch then they grow out through the lattice and that looks, that looks pretty tacky. So Bill Hurst would never let me get away with being that way, you know. That, that sloppy about things. So. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's, that's another thing I want to do before the snakes get out. Is, uh, rip my and get that done. Get that taken care of. So I'm swapping the, uh, I'm swapping the chain on this saw. This is a little thing I can turn around here to loosen it up. Yeah, that's it right there. And once I loosen that up, see this will come on. And take this chain off, put a fresh one on there. And then, uh, and then oh, look at all that crap. I'm going to take this out there and pour out all this stuff that sits, all that stuff inside there. Huh? Take that out here. Well, I'm not up on the floor. Oh, Now I'm going to want to keep this thing here. I want to keep this blade somewhere else other than in my box of new blades. So what I'll do is I'll hang this blade up over here. That'll be one for you to go back and do sharpen. And then I can reach in here. Fresh one. And you always got to make sure you get your chainsaw plate facing in the right direction. As it goes, mm, goes that way. You see, I made that little noise because see, when, you, when you're sawing, you put the saw down, it pulls the saw instead of pushing it. If it pushed it, it would push it back towards you and make it easier to cut yourself. But when it pulls the saw, then you got your arm strength hanging against it. And you can hang on to it. But the way you do that is you got to figure out, okay, see these little sharp things here? These little sharp things here? They're all shiny right there. Well, that's the part that's coming back toward me. So that's the right direction for that. There's the sharp parts on the bottom of the saw blade. Now the trick to this is to get this back on there. And I might need to turn as a little bolt. Well, that's in the that's in the lid there. So I think I can put this right on here. And I can bring this part down here. Back of that blade goes over that little wheelie thing right there. See. And then this comes out here. Yeah. It's one of them places where I could do a lot better video if I had a camera mounted 
inside of my eyeball. So when I look down at this, you can see what I'm looking at instead of y'all sitting over there, you can't see what I'm doing here. But that's just the nature of this, you know. I, I see people make these pretty professional looking videos, you know, and they, some of them's got camera persons and they got, you know, they spend an awful lot of time getting that stuff. And I'm just a guy, you know, I'm just an old guy out here trying to cut, cut up some tree stumps. So I'm not gonna produce that kind of excellent video. And for that reason, a lot of y'all don't wanna watch my channel and that's okay, you know, cause I'm not here for everybody. I'm just here for the ones that are willing to hang out with me. And there are, as odd as it may seem, there are people out in the YouTube world who are willing to hang out with the likes of me, even though, even though I ain't that good at it. Yeah, because some of y'all are like me. Y'all might not be that good at it either. We kind of, we kind of become a, a loose organization. Oh, I like the sound of that. We're a loose organization. Ooh, that sounds kind of racy. So we become a loose organization of people that ain't that good at certain things, but we still like each other. You know, it's okay. We don't we don't have to be we don't have to be super duper professional. Instead of using bar oil, I use old hot rod engine oil. Because it's cheaper. I got some left over that I can use. I don't have to go spend my money on bar oil, which is just gonna disappear. Put bar oil on here, it might lubricate the saw blade, but I think old Chevy motor oil might lubricate the blade and not cost me anything. Give me a chance to use that old oil for something other than burning it in the burn pile or something. You know? It's just me. Okay, so. Oh, hear the power. Oh, the joy. I got one little pointy thing sticking up right here. I'm gonna get rid of that first. Boy, for a freshly sharpened blade. Did I put that blade on backwards? Did I? Did I put it on backwards? I sure did. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I ain't no smarter than a politician myself. Dang, dang, that's like, it's funny how I did that. I, I probably, I probably put it on there and then turned the blade over and stuck it on the saw. In the process of turning the blade over, I reversed the blade. No wonder it wouldn't cut. I just don't know about me. I don't know about me. I don't know about y'all, because y'all are hanging out with me. You'd think you'd have better sense to spend your time with somebody who'd make a mistake like that. But, I don't know. What am I going to say? What am I going to say about you? You're here. You're still here in spite of everything. Let me put y'all up here. You can look down on me from above. You can be like my guardian angel. You can keep an eye on what I'm doing here. I'll make sure I don't make that same mistake all over again. Do that? Sure. Let's do that. Let's do that.